You know, today we're going to talk a lot about love. Inherently, we know that there's nothing in this life more important than to love and to be loved. It's our purpose on this earth. Loving is how we grow. Loving is how we become the person we were born to be. And as I said a few moments ago, love is why we are here today. So back in 2014, Jenny got a new job, as we've heard many times, at Hoover Elementary in Melrose. What up, elementary? And I wanted to take her out for a very fancy dinner, so we went to Chili's, celebrate her new job, where she told me all about this really handsome PE teacher that she had met. It was probably maybe a weekend, and she comes home. I have met this wonderful PE teacher. He is tall, he is smart, he is kind. We would come home and we would do dinner and wine nights and we would talk about this and anything else that went on. When I finally got to meet this mysterious coworker named Jenny, it was clear they were a perfect match. Her energy, passion, and love of life bring out the best in Tristan. She's been the driving force behind a number of positive changes in his life. So maybe it wasn't all that surprising to most of you that over the course of time, after all those basketball games and getting together with co-workers together, the Jenny and Tristan's friendship grew into love, a deep and abiding love. Tristan, the first time I saw you in that green t-shirt from across the Melrose Middle School Auditorium, I knew there could be something there. Over the next five long months of organizing work outings, creating a basketball team, and other various endeavors, I finally got my chance when I invited you to that Celtics game on the fateful night of January 30th, 2015. Inviting you to that game was one of the most nerve-wracking choices I've ever made, but it turned out to be the best decision of my life. You're one of the kindest, funniest, and most talented people I know. You're my best friend, travel companion, <laughs> dog co-parent <laughs> and love of my life. Uh, most importantly, you are always there for me. You love every part of me and see the best in me even when I might not see it in myself. Tristan, I promise to laugh with you in the good times, struggle alongside you in the bad times. I promise to work with you to foster and cherish a relationship of equality, patience, and love, knowing that together we will build a life far better together than either of us could ever imagine alone. I am so excited and honored to become your wife as we sing, dance, and laugh our way through the rest of our lives together. I love you. Jenny, from the day I met you, I actually had no clue we'd end up together. <laughs> but after months of friendship and co-ed basketball, I finally realized what you say you knew all along, that we were going to be great together. I don't have any regrets about that time, though, because I know we are better off because we were best friends first and waited for the right time. I promise to always be your friend. We'll try to listen better and tell you that I love you and show you that I love you. I promise to always try to make you laugh, even when you pretend I'm not funny. <laughs> Thank you for waiting those five months for me. I promise it was worth it. And so now, because you have chosen one another and vowed to love each other in marriage forevermore, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. So now you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Tristan, thank you for loving Jenny with all of your heart, making her feel so complete. A great love affair starts with champagne or whatever drink you're having. So to that, we toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Irish. I love you guys. Today you were joined as husband and wife and began together your married life. We'll share happy days after saying I do, and we can't wait to share them with you. So from two of your friends who love you the most, let's raise our glasses and conclude with a toast. Tristan and Jenny. Jenny.